want to learn the best way to measure your body fat percentage accurately, then you found the right video. I'm going to go over exactly what you'll need to get this job done in a way that will produce reliable results in your home fast. Of course, there are options like hydrostatic weighing and DEXA scans. However, for this video, I'm just going to assume that you're not even going to bother with these methods because number one, they're expensive, they're hard to find, and they take a lot of time. Realistically, we want to stick to the options that are simple and we want to find a way to have accurate results without breaking the bank in the process. So the first way we can do this is by using a method that can be done in our own homes using materials available to us right now and that's through the circumference measurements. All you need is a measuring tape. If you're a man between the ages of 18 to 26 years old, you're going to measure three spots. The circumference of your right forearm right below the elbow, uh, your abs right at your belly button, and your upper right arm a little below your shoulder. If you're 27 years old or older, the only difference is instead of measuring your upper right arm, you're going to measure your hips. For women, if you're between 18 to 26 years old, you're going to measure your abs at your belly button again, your right thigh right below your glute, and your right forearm. And if you're over 27 years old, then you're going to measure your right calf right below the knee instead of your right forearm. Then you just plug in your stats into a calculator that I'll link up below. Next up is the bioelectrical impedance device. And in my opinion, this is one of the easiest ways to track your body fat percentage. These are the devices that you see that look like video game controllers and the scales that come with metal strips on them. And the way they work is they send a small electric pulse through your body, which travels faster through muscle than it does through fat. And depending on how fast it travels through your body and comes back to the machine, it's going to calculate your body fat percentage, which is very useful. It's a very quick way to do it. Some things you want to be aware of to get an accurate reading are one, you want to make sure that you have full contact with the metal parts of the device. So make sure your feet or your hands are in contact with the metal parts of the device as much as possible. If using a handheld device, don't squeeze the life out of it, just hold it with a regular grip. Make sure you hold your hands straight out in front of you and lock out your elbows completely and then just hold it still while it takes your body fat percentage. Next we have the skin fold calipers. This device can take your body fat percentage a couple different ways. The simplest way is to take one measurement a couple inches above your hip bone. However, if you want a more accurate result, I recommend taking three measurements instead of just one. If you're a man, you're going to measure at your chest, your abs, and your thigh. For the chest measurement, you want to take a diagonal skin fold right between your nipple line and your armpit. For the abs, we want to be one to two inches to the right of the belly button. And for the thigh, we want to be right in between, the midpoint between your hip and your knee. For women, we want to do the tricep at the midpoint right between the shoulder and the elbow and the supreliac located about two inches above the hip bone and the same thigh measurement that we took for the men. So those are the three measurements for women. And then you plug your measurements into a chart which I'll include links to in the description. There are also some really cheap options for skin fold measurement devices on Amazon which makes this an inexpensive yet accurate way to take your body fat percentage. The downside is that this one is obviously more time consuming than just doing bioelectrical impedance, but I mean it still works. Next we have online calculators that say that they can do it based on your weight, your age, and your activity level. These calculators make no logical sense for how they actually figure out your body fat percentage, so I would stay away from them. Last but not least is what I call the mirror method. Stand in front of the mirror and take a good look at your shape and how your body fat is distributed. Then take a look at a sample of a bunch of different pictures of people at various different body fat percentages. And then you would pick the picture that most resembles what you look like in the mirror and guesstimate your body fat percentage that way. This is probably by far the easiest way, and believe it or not, it can be pretty accurate. So these are the methods, the best methods that I've seen for finding your body fat percentage in an inexpensive, quick way that you could do yourself at home. You may be wondering which one of these methods are the most accurate out of all of them, and the true answer is none of them. 
body fat testing in general, even at its best, still has a lot of variability that leads to inaccuracy. Even though the skinfold method is considered more accurate than, for example, bioelectrical impedance by most of the fitness community, if you accidentally take a skinfold measurement a couple inches in the wrong direction, it can completely throw off the accuracy of the test. Same thing goes with circumference measurements. It has the same uh, problem. And all of these tests are known to produce results that are at least 3 to 4% above or below your actual body fat percentage. So my best piece of advice on how you can use these body fat devices is by using the same device to give you the same unit of measurement over time. And don't worry so much about the number that you get. Worry more about the change that you're getting over time using that same device. Meaning, don't use skinfold measurements and then switch over halfway through to bioelectrical impedance measurements. Keep it consistent. And out of the four, I really like bioelectrical impedance and the mirror method the most because they take a lot of human error, believe it or not, out of the equation. And these methods are by far the simplest and the fastest ways to do it. Remember to keep all of your measurements consistent. So take them on the same day of the week at about the same time of the day and at the same spots of your body if you're using skinfold or circumference measurements. That's it guys. I really hope this video has helped you guys out. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you leave it a big thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to this channel to see more tips and tricks just like this one. Pump it.